Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, glad to have you here as always. Uh, we just did the Darth Vitrian video and I wanted to introduce you to his Padawan. I don't actually have a name for him yet. Um, he was kind of just a, a random figure I assembled and I just paired him with Vitrian. And then while I was thinking about the lore for Vitrian the other day, I figured, you know, instead of just having him as sort of like an underling, make him a uh, apprentice. Um, I'm going to go over the parts that I made him out of. Uh, this is the hair that typically used on uh, Kanan Jarrus. Um, the, well, not typically, uh, this is the black variant which was technically a, a mistake with the first run of the original Ghost set. Uh, it's supposed to be a dark brown. Uh, but that's the same hair piece. I think I just got it as a spare piece uh, in an order. Uh, the face, I also picked that up individually. Um, in the light blue skin, I was hoping to make him kind of like a Chiss. But he doesn't have the the red glowing eyes like Thrawn does. Um, but luckily there is another species in Star Wars with blue skin. And it's actually got kind of a little Easter egg attached to it. I'll, I'll go into that in a second. Um, his body, which I'll show you here. The torso and legs are actually from a Lightyear character. All three of the, like the, the side characters have the same torso, and it's such a freaking good torso. I'll show you the back, too. It's so cool. It works so well as sort of like a armored mercenary sort of type. It's so good. Um, that is... Let me stand him here. Nah, I'll just let him there. That is from this guy. This is the head and shoulders of... <laughs> The guy got off. This is actually the character of the voice by Taika Waititi in the movie Lightyear. Um, so this would have gone on that body, and that's the whole figure there. Um, this actually isn't the first time I've used that torso and legs for a figure. Um, the next figure video I do is actually going to be that character. Um, the saber staff, that's not actually a saber staff. I, I built these a little while ago. Um, these are based off of the ones you see in um, Force Unleashed. Yeah, Force Unleashed. Great games. Came in a long time ago. And you see some like Shadow Troopers have these. Uh, and they're uh, Force Pikes. Not Force Pikes, sorry. Uh, <laughs> the uh, Emperor's Royal Guard have Force Pikes. These are lightsaber pikes or saber pikes. Um and then he has a shield because when I was looking up what kind of characters had these, I was looking, you know, lightsaber staffs and lightsaber spears, stuff like that. And then I I discovered they're technically called lightsaber pikes. And while I was looking through that, I found lore from the Old Republic, uh, the MMORPG, where in one of the later expansions they have these order of characters called the Knights of Zakul. They use lightsaber pikes and personal shields and do sort of like group tactics and stuff like that. They're, they're uh, bodyguards for the Emperor of the the Eternal Empire. Um, and I thought that was pretty neat. So I modeled this after him. Or not him, them. Uh, and then, uh, going back to the blue skin. So since he's not a Chiss, he is a Pantoran, which is a species in Star Wars that, um, we actually see on screen in episode three, Revenge of the Sith. And George Lucas himself is dressed up in full blue makeup with yellow uh, accents on him as a Pantoran, specifically Baron 
oh, I hope I don't butcher this name, Baron Notlewiski Papanoida. And uh, that's kind of the reason why I know about the species. I, there are other members of that species in other media. So I was at least aware of that species. So luckily, it was kind of a fallback since he can't be a chiss. Um, and they do have, you know, dark hair like that. Um, I'm pretty happy with how this came out. Um, but I like to think of him as sort of like he's the guy that Vitrian uses to guard his horde of holocrons, basically. But he's also the apprentice that he took as a measure to actually gain access to all the information in the holocrons that he has, all the, the Jedi holocrons. Since he's a dark side user, he can't actually access those. So he needed a way to do that. And so he takes on this guy as his apprentice and trains him in the light side. That way he's actually able to access those holocrons and, and have that information that he's been craving for so long. Um, and gosh, I just, I love this body on this guy. It's so good. Like it's everything I need out of some sort of heavily armored figure. They, Lego really knocked it out of the park with these. Um, you could even add some sort of helmet to him if you guys wanted to use this body for something to have kind of like a shore trooper uh, sort of look with the tan or any other sort of mercenary. Um, the set, not the set, the, well, I mean, yeah, the set. The figures actually do come with their own helmets that go with it, but this is specific to the Lightyear movie. No, oh, there it goes. Uh, so, I mean, you could potentially use it, but it would look far too much like the official set. And, um, I mean, I'll, I'll go more into that on the next figure I show you guys. Um, just so, just to show how well these figures work. But, um, I have a bunch of these saber spike spikes. Uh, I can't even say it. I have a bunch of these lightsaber spike. Jeez, spikes. Lightsaber. Man, I am all flubbly right now. And it's gone. Goodness gracious me. Lightsaber spikes. I swear I'm dyslexic sometimes. I have a bunch of these different materials, uh, different blades. Um, I like this shield. I had a bunch of different options I could have used on him, but this one feels like it fits a lot better. Uh, but anyways, this is Darth Vitrian's Jedi Apprentice. And that is all for this character. I will see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.